اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ویلکم ٹو منڈیز کلاس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آل ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ لیٹ اس اسٹارٹ آور کلاس ود آور منڈیز دا وائف آئی کین ہیو اے اسٹوڈنٹ ٹو دا مائک پلیز السلام علیکم کین آئی ہیو الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویری نائس اوکے اف یو کین فالو می ناؤ ربش رح لی ربش رح لی ربش رح لی ربش رح لی صدری صدری ویری نائس ویسر لی ویسر لی Amri. Amri. Very nice. Could you read the translation for me, please? Lord, expand my mind and make my task easy for me. Very nice. What does it say um, at the bottom here? Taha. Yeah, and? 26, 27. Exactly. Do you know what th- that means? That means that it's in the Holy Quran in Surah Taha and the verses are 26 to 27. Maybe after the class, you can have a look in the Holy Quran and you will find this dua here. Okay. Jazakumullah G785. Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Assalamu Okay. Now let's go through our class etiquettes. Uh, make sure that you have done your wazoo. and you're wearing clean clothes and your head is covered make sure you're sitting in a quiet place and someone is there um, with you to um, supervise and please do make sure that you um, are signing with your correct id if you don't have your correct id um, then you can email um, just here uk quran class at gmail.com and also um, all our classes are online on youtube as well so you can go back and um, watch them if you're unsure of something okay now today we will um, be learning about vertical fatha and um, it's in um, it's on page 54 and the practice text is 8.1 and 8.2 Now, uh, you have been learning about Fatah, Kasra and Zamma. So, uh, vertical Fatah um, is also called the long stretch or Fatah Ishbaya. Okay, let me just read out this text and then I will explain to you. Vertical Fatah is when the stroke of Fatah is vertically placed over a letter, just like here. Um, let me try to highlight this. Yes. So there is an alif here and the fatha is vertical insta- instead of that slanted fatha. Okay. So when it's placed vertically over a letter, it's called vertical fatha. A letter bearing a vertical fatha should be given double time as compared to fatha, i.e. approximately two seconds or counts. So when we have the vertical fatha we will prolong the alif for two seconds normally when we have this normal fatha here this fatha the slanted um, fatha then we will just say a ah. and then if we have the vertical fatha fatha ishbaya we will say a ah, a ah. okay now let me let me read out the first line here So you can see how it's different from the normal fatha and um, how, we, how long we pronounce the vertical fatha. Okay, so here we have just the alif and then we have alif with the fatha, which will be a. And here we have 
fatha, which is again a, uh, and the vertical fatha, which is a, uh, again vertical fatha hai, a, uh, and normal fatha, a. Uh. Now we have ba with a fatha, which will be pronounced ba. And ba with the vertical fatha will be pronounced ba, ba. So two counts or double as long as the normal fatha. Now ta with the vertical fatha will be ta. And ta with the normal fatha will be ta. Ta with the normal fatha will be tha. And tha with the vertical fatha will be tha. Okay, now if I can have a student to the mic, please. Can I request G841 to unmute their mic? Assalamu alaikum, G841. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. And jazakumullah for asking. Now, um, do you understand what we do with the vertical fatha? Yes. And what's the difference between fatha and vertical fatha? Yes. What's the difference? Well, the normal fatha is for one count and the vertical fatha is for two counts. Beautiful, we explained. Well done, uh, mashallah. Okay, now um, let's start with thousand tasmiya. A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, could you read the first letter here? Alif. Alif. And here? Ah. Very nice. And here? Ah. Very nice. Here. Ah. Uh. Very nice. Well done. Why did you prolong it for two seconds then? Hmm? Why you, you, you made the alif longer for two seconds. Why did you do that? Because it's a vertical fatah and it's for two counts. Exactly. Well done. Now here. Ah. Uh. Very nice. Uh, ah, very nice. And he? Ba. Yeah. Ba. Yes. So two seconds. Well done. Ta. Yes. Ta. Uh, uh, make the uh, normal fata a tiny bit shorter. Okay. Ta. Ta. That's it. Now he? Ta. That's it. And da. Da, well done. Um, can you read this again, please? Sa. Okay. So your timing was correct. Well done. Your timing for the vertical fatha is correct as well. Very nice. Um, just the pronunciation with the tha. This tha, uh, make sure you touch your tongue to the upper te teeth. Okay, and then pronounce it really softly. Try it again. Ta. Ta. Okay, this. Ta. Very nice. Try again. Ta. Ta. Make it softer. Ta. That's it. Very nice. Now, this. Ta. Hey. Ta. That's it. Beautiful. I could hear it now. It was really soft. Very nicely done. Um, now make sure you you uh, practice this ta in your daily reading or in your practice, so um, you can get used to it. Jazakumullah G eight four one. That was really nicely recited. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, just before I um, go ahead, I just wanted to remind you all that there is a Google form for attendance in the chat box. Make sure to fill it in so we have your attendance. Jazakumullah. Now, can I have the next student to the mic, please? Can I request G800 to unmute their mic? Assalamu alaikum, G800. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, maybe let's move on. 
Um, can I request G775? Mute their mic. Assalamu alaikum, G775. G775. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. Now, um, we are doing vertical fatha. Uh, do you understand what we do with the vertical fatha? Uh, no. That's no problem. So with the vertical fatha, as you can see here, this G carries a vertical fatha, okay? And whenever there is a vertical fatha, what you do, you prolong it for two seconds, okay? So whichever letter carries a vertical fatha, you will have to prolong it. You have to make it longer than the normal fatha, okay? Twice as long. Can be two counts or two seconds, all right? Now, let me show you. This gym carries a vertical fatha and this one doesn't. This only carries a um, normal fatha, okay? Then the gym with the vertical fatha will be ja, and the gym with the normal fatha will be ja, okay? Now, can you pronounce this gym for me? Ja. Very nice. So you prolonged it. Um, try to make it a tiny bit shorter, okay? That was, um, I think, about two and a half seconds. Yeah? Try again. Yeah. That's it. Now, read this gene for me, please. Yeah. That's it. Ja. Very nice. One count and the first one, two counts. Try again. The first one now. The one with the vertical fatah. Yeah. That's it. And the second one. Yeah. That's it. Very nice. So you understand what the vertical fatah does? Yeah? Do you understand now? Yeah. Well done. Okay, now you can show me that you have understood it. Just hey, read this half for me, please. Ha. Uh, well done. Ha. Um... You know that ha is a throat letter, so it means that it comes from your throat. Try to um, read it from the middle of your throat. Ha. My ha. That's it. Well done. Okay, now this ha here. Second one. Could you read it again, please? Ha. That's it. So you prolonged it. You made it longer than this. Huh? Well done. So you understand what the vertical fatha does. Um, try to make it two counts, okay? Uh, repeat after me. Ha. Ha. That's it. Well done. Now, the next letter is this letter here. Can you read this letter for me, please? Ja. Dot open is there. Again. That's it. It's a ho. Now, ho is a thick letter as well. Do you know what we do with thick letters? You round your mouth and read it a bit thickly, okay? So you don't say ha, you say ho. That's it. Well done. Now, try the next letter here. Try again, sorry. I couldn't hear you just now. Ha. That's it. Well done. Try to make it tiny bit shorter, not too long. long. Um, you can count on your fingers. Only open two fingers when you um, read the vertical fatha. Okay? Ha. Ha. Yeah, that's it. Not any longer. Okay? Well done. Now let's carry on. Just. Okay. Now this letter. Can you read this letter for me, please? Da. That's it. Well done. That was that was the right amount of time. Well done. This letter here now. The let next letter, please. Da. That's it. Well done. So they both carry vertical patas and they are both a pro pro prolonged for two seconds. Well done. Now this letter here, please. Da. Could you read it again for me, please? Uh, the first one. 
the. Well done, the. So it carries a normal pata and it will not be prolonged for two seconds, just one count, yeah? The, and I could hear that you, pro that you read the the very softly, very nice, well done. Very nice pronunciation. Now the se second one, please, here. The. That's it. The. Well done. Okay, now yeah, let's carry on and read this letter. Ra. Okay, so it only carries a fata. What do you do? You don't prolong it. Do you want to try again? Yeah. Go on. Ra. Ra. Well done. And make sure to round your mouth with ra as well, okay? Because um, with, you will have to pronounce it thickly a bit, okay? Ra. Can you repeat after me? Ra. Ra. Well done. Now the second one here. Ra. That's it. Ra. Can you repeat after me, please? Ra. Ra. Very nice. And I would like to request everyone at home to repeat after us as well. So you can practice um, all the letters and um, the vertical fatha as well. Jazakumullah G775. You read it really nicely, mashallah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, now let's carry on with the next student, please. Can I request G60, G, G760 to unmute their mic? Assalamualaikum, G760. Walaikum salam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm good. Well done, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so um, do you understand what we have been doing today? Yes, I think so. Okay, so what's what's the fatha called? Vertical fatha. Vertical fatha, well done. Do you know the other word for it? Um, I think it is... Um, it's okay if you don't because I haven't been um, saying it for, for a few times. So it's, it's on the top. It's Fatha Ishbaya. Okay. Okay. Fatha Ishbaya. Well done. Okay. I, now, yeah. Wait, um, I learned the vertical Fatha. You prolong it for two seconds. And yes. I learned it in G free class. Wow. Well done, mashallah. Okay. Now, shall we start with Thousand Tasmiya? Yes. Okay. Audu Billahi Mina Shaytani Waji Bismillah Rahman Rahim. That was really nicely recited, mashallah. Well done. Now, do you want to start reading this letter here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well done. So you, do, you yeah. have prolonged it, but make sure you don't prolong it for too long, okay? So that okay. was about two and a half seconds. Try again. Za. That's it. That was exactly the right amount of time. Okay. So this is how long you should be making it. Well done. Now the next bit here. Next za. letter. Za. Well done. Make sure not to do a jerk, just a za. Okay. Okay. Za. Well, well done. Beautiful. Okay. Let me just um, highlight this. Right. Now here. Sa. Try again. Sa. Sa, well done. And he. Sa. That's it. Very nice. Okay, your timing it is timing is perfect now. Well done. Now this letter here. Sha. That's it. Well done. And Sha. the letter here. Sha. Sha. Okay. Make sure not to uh, do a jerk. There is a tiny bit of jerk. Um, just say sha. Okay, sha. 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 That's it. Well done. Uh, let me do a different exercise with you. Okay. Do you want to do this exercise? Because I feel like you can. Okay. Ya. 
da hu. Well done. Try again and read them all at once. Ya da hu. Well done. The da a tiny bit shorter, but it was correct. Well done. Ya da hu. Ya da hu. Well done. Try the next word. Um, here. Full, fully ku. Oh. Try again. It's not a fu. What does the fa have, have on top of it? A vertical fata. Exactly. Yes. Try again. Fa, ne, fa li ku. Now all at once. Fa li ku. Well done. Now, can you tell me uh, the qaf? What kind of letter is the qaf? It has a madda. Ne, a, um, a thick. If it's a thick letter. Well done. What do we do with the thick letters? Um, you, you. Um, Around your mouth. mouth. Yes, yeah. well done. And the qaf, how do you read the qaf? From you, your? Uh, from your throat. Well done. So try the qaf with your throat. Ku. Ku. Well done. Faliku. Faliku. Well done. That was really nicely recited. Now let's go back and carry on these. Um, okay, we have haven't done this. Try this now. Sha. That's it. Very nice. And here. Sha. That's it. Now here. This letter. So. Well done. I love the way you um, pronounced so. Very nice. You you. Why did you round your mouth though? Um, um. I think I round my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm not quite sure. You rounded your mouth. You read it correctly. You prolonged it correctly. And you round your mouth because it's a thick letter as well. Okay, just like the qaf, okay. sad is also a thick letter. Well done. Okay, now this letter here, please. Dod. It's got a vertical fata. So, what do you do? Um, you have to prolong it for two seconds. Yeah. Try now. Do. Well done. Do and you can um, read it as zo as well. Okay. Okay. And again, uh, zo is a um, thick letter, so you round your mouth, mouth with it. Okay. And just one second. Okay. Now this letter here. To. That's it. And what about the to? And the to it has it's a thick letter and it yeah. has a vertical fat on top. Very nicely explained. Well done. Now this letter here. Zo. Very nice. And again, zo the same as to is a um, is, is a thick letter. Very okay. nice. Now if you can carry on and read the next letter for me. I. It is ein, but it carries a vertical fat. So how would you pronounce it? Uh, that's it. And from your throat. Try again. Uh, oh, well done. I could hear it now. Uh, uh, okay. And this letter here, please. Ra. Well done. Very nicely recited. So, ra, did you did you round your mouth with the ra as well? I, I think so. Yes, you did. I could hear it. So that means Roin is also a thick letter. It is. Okay. Okay. Well done, um, G760. That was really nicely recited, mashallah. Jazakum Allah Hafiz. Jazakum Allah Hafiz. Can his brother has a go? G761? Um, yes, uh, G761. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jazakum. Oh, Assalamu alaikum, G761. Assalamu mm. alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Uh, good. Alhamdulillah. Let's start with thousand tasmiya. Awwabillahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Okay. 
Very nice. So um, you know that we have been learning vertical fatha. Do you understand um, what we do with the vertical fatha? Yeah. Okay. So we prolong it for how long? Two seconds. Two seconds. Well done. And the normal fatha. What do we do with the normal fatha like here? Uh, for one second. Just one count. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Now, can you start reciting from here, please? Fa. That's it. Very nice. And oh, sorry. This letter here. Ko. Well done. So um, I could hear that you read it from your throat and you pull, uh, you rounded your mouth a bit as well. Why did you do that? Because it's a thick letter. Thick letter. Well done. And your timing was correct as well. Well done. Um, bear with me one second. Now, this letter here. Uh, could you come closer to the mic, please? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Gaff. So that's ka. Okay. Ka. Well done. Very nice. Okay. And this letter here. La. Well done. Very nice. Um, and the next letter, please. Ma. Well done. And this letter here. Na. Very nice. I like your timing. It's um, on the dot. It's two seconds or two counts. Well done. And this letter here. Wow. Very nice pronunciation. Well done. And this letter here, please. Ha. That's it. Well done. And this letter here. Ah. Uh. Very nice. And this letter here, please. Yeah. Very nice. <clears throat> and this letter here. Da. Yes. And this letter, please. Da. Well done. So um, these are both da. This is the first one is a da. Um, actually, sorry. Could you read this letter again? I'm sorry. Could you this read this letter again? Mm, okay. Da. Da, well done. So um, I think you prolonged it for a bit, um, that da. But um, because it only carries a fatha, so it's just a da. Um, and um, um, this da is called ta, ta al marbuta. It, um, it looks like a ha with two dots. So we call it ta al marbuta. It is pronounced exactly like the ta before, but it's called um, ta al marbuta. Okay. okay. Now, um, can you read this? Word for me, please. Salas. Try again. Salasu. Well done. So the timing was correct. Well done. This ta was the first ta was um, just one second, and the middle lam was two seconds because it carries a vertical fata, and thu was just one count as well. Well done. Now, just one thing with the tha again, it's very soft. Try to touch your tongue with the upper teeth and pronounce it really softly again. Okay, ta. Salasu. Oh, that's it. I could hear it now. Well done. Practice. Try to practice it at home. Okay. Now the next word here. Kotala. Well done. Very nice. Now one more word. This one, please. Rahu. Well done. Uh, I liked your timing. It's correct. Um, and you understand the vertical fatha as well. Well done. And very nicely read. Jazakumullah G671. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Can I have the next student to the mic, please? Can I request G842 to unmute their mic? Assalamu alaikum, G842. Assalamu alaikum, G840. Okay, 
Walaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. And jazakumullah for asking. Um, so do you understand what we're doing today? We are learning vertical fatha. Do you know what we do with the vertical fatha? We put it for two seconds. Yes, we make it two seconds longer. Well done. Very nice. So do you want to start with thousand asmiya? Okay. Okay, go on then. Very nice. Well done. So this first letter, could you read it for me, please? Uh, well done. Why did you make it two seconds longer? Because it's got the the uh, vertical head. Yes. Fatha. Well done. Very nicely spotted. That was correct. Okay. Now this letter here. Ma. Ma. Well done. So how long do we make this ma then? One second. One second. Well done. Now, this letter here for me, please. Na. Na. Well done. And does it carry a normal fatha or a vertical fatha? Normal fatha. Normal fatha. Well done. Okay, now we have all these three letters combined here. And let's see if you can read it. Take your time, split it up, okay? Ba, ba, na. Try again, yeah? Ba, ba, na. Well done. So you prolong the Ali for two seconds, well done. The meme was correct, it was just one second. Just the noon was a tiny bit longer, okay? So make the noon as long as the meme, okay? okay. Ah, mana. Could you come closer to the mic, please? Because sometimes I can't hear you. Amana. Well done. That was correct. Well done. And if everyone at home can um, can repeat after me as well. Amana. Amana. Well done. Very nice. Now let's carry on and read this letter. Ka. Well done. And this letter here. La. Okay, so la, it, what does it carry? What does it have on top of it? Top of it? A vertical fatha. Yeah, how long do we make it? Two seconds. Okay, try again. La. That's it, well done. Now, hold on one second. This letter here. I couldn't hear you just now. Could you read this letter again? Moo. Moo. Well done. Make it tiny bit shorter. Just moo. Moo. Well done. Okay. Now. Hold. Okay. Now, all of these three letters combined is this word here. Could you try and read this for me, please? Okay. Do you have to you have to decide which one you make to you want to make long and which one you you just read normally? Which one is it? You making long? The lamb. The lamb. And which one do you just read in one count? Da and me. That's it. Well done. Now try again. Well done. Kalamu. Kalamu. Well done. Very nice. Now, could you read this word here for me, please? Um, kalamu. Just the word underneath here. Can you see it? The one highlighted. You can take your time, decide which one do you make want to make long longer and which one you don't. Okay? And then you can split up as well.
Let's try the first first bit. She's saying it. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Um, could you say it again, please? Yeah, da who? Well done. Very nice. Um, you said it correctly. You uh, made the da for two seconds long, and the ya and the who was um, just one second. Well done. Very nicely recited. G eight four two. Mashallah. Um, Jazakumullah and Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, now can I have the next student to the mic, please? Can I request G781 to unmute their mic? Assalamu alaikum, G781. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum assalam. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah, and jazakumullah for asking. Now, shall we start with Ta'awuz and Tasmiyah? Yes. Go on. A'uzu billahi min shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Very nice. So, uh, could you read this word for me, please? Key. Well done. And this one. Ta. Try again. Sorry, I couldn't hear you just now. Ta. Very nice. Why did you make it longer than the key? Because this one is like um, the long one. It is the vertical. Yes. One. Well done. So it carries a vertical pata. It's, it has a vertical pata on top of it. And how long do you have to make it? Two seconds. Two seconds. Well done. Or two counts. Well done. Now, this letter here. Boo. Very nice. Okay. Now, could you read this word for me, please? Kitabu. Very nice. Kitabu. Kitabu. Yes. So um, your timing was correct. Well done. Very nice. Now, let's carry on and read this letter. Kha. Yes. Um, what type of letter is Kha? Um, It's the one you pronounce from your throat. Exactly. And it is also a... You read it correctly? Thick one. Thick one. Well done. So you rounded your mouth with the Kha. That means it's a thick letter. Okay. Kha. Kha. Very nice. Now let's carry on and read this letter here. Lee. Lee. Well done. And this letter here, please. Cool. Very nice. So, off is also a thick letter and it comes from your which throat. part? From your throat. Throat. Which part? From the middle of your throat. Okay. So, who? Ku. Oh. Ku. Um, you're trying to pronounce the other calf, which is this one. So um, this one is ka, but this one is ku. So from from kind of the middle and the back of your throat. Try to read it from from, from there. Ku. Ku. Okay, that was better. Well done. Try to practice this off. Okay. And uh, make sure you um, distinguish which, between this calf and the calf here. Okay? Well done. Now try and read this word here for me, please. Khaliku. Well done. Now, kha, make it a bit uh, round. Khaliku. Yeah, that's better. Well done. Khaliku. Khaliku. Well done. Very nicely recited. Okay. Now, can you read this word for me, please? Kaliku. Try again. What's the first letter? Kaliku. Sorry. Kaliku. Well done. Kaliku. Kaliku. Well done. So your timing is perfect. Well done. Now this letter here for me, please. Try again. Ta -ta -ku. 
Okay, the first one, read the first letter. Ta. Sa, well done. Make it a tiny bit more softer. Sa. Ta. And the middle one? What's the middle letter here? I don't know. It's, it's lamb. La. La. See here, this lamb here, when it comes in the middle of a let in, in the middle of a word, then um, it is the, the end bit of the lamb. This bit is cut off and it joins on to the previous letter, just like here. Yeah. So it's joining on to the tha, so to the first tha, and then it goes up just like the normal lamb, and then goes down and then the rest is cut off. Okay. So la. And then the la carries a vertical fatha. How would you pronounce it? For two seconds. Yes. Try to read it for me, please. Talaku. Okay, so it's ta, talasu. It's not ta, ta. It's, it has three dots. Okay? Talasu. Talaku. That's better. Well done. Try to practice the, practice the ta, okay? At home as well. And um, inshallah, it will take a little while, but inshallah, you'll be fine. Um, that was really nicely read. Your timing was really good. Mashallah. Jazakumullah G781. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, can we have the next student, please? Can I request G829 to unmute the mic? Assalamu alaikum, G829. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum How are you today? Um, Alhamdulillah. Now, shall we start with thousand tasmiya? Uh, okay. Yes, Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. shaitan rajim <coughs> Very nice. That was really nice. I'm excited. Now, um, can you read this letter for me, please? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, well done. Now, uh, what did you do with this letter? You make me um do um. Uh, count ke upper karate because wo, um, yes. Karate. yes, you're correct. So you pro you made it two seconds longer because it has a what's this little little thing called here that vertical vertical fatha. Yeah, so it's called vert vertical fatha or fatha ishbaya. Okay, and you made it longer for two seconds. Well done. Now, this letter here. Hmm? Can you read this letter here for me, please? Um, D. Yes. Sa. Well done. Sa. Make it tiny bit softer. Sa. Well done. Okay. Now, this letter here. <clears throat> Ra. Very nice. Ra. Um, you made this um, round. You when, the, when you, sorry, when you read it, you rounded your mouth, which was correct. So it means that it, it is a thick letter as well. Okay. Only when there is a fatah. Well done. Now, can you read this word? Hmm. You can split it up. Uh, well done. So which one of these three did, do you have to make long? Yeah. Which uh, one? Yes. So you have to make alif long because it carries a vertical fatha and the rest, the fatha and the ra, they have what on top of them? What are they called? The plant. Horizontal. Horizontal. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they have the one as a normal photo. Yes, so they have the normal fatwa. Well done. So we only pro prolong them for one second, okay? Asaro. Can... Well done. Very nice. Now, can you read this word for me? This sec uh, Sorry, this letter for me, please. Uh, Very nice. Yeah. Yes, and the next one. Try again. Can you read this letter for me, please? Yes, I could. <laughs> well done. Very nice. Now you've actually read it, but could you try again this this word? Okay, which one do you want to make long? Uh, uh, and ya. Yes, so ah uh, and ya yeah, you want to make long and it is pronounced ah uh, yeah. that last one short. Uh yes, this will be pro uh, this will not be prolonged for 2 seconds. It's just one count. Okay? So ah uh, yeah, ya Can you repeat after me, please? And everyone at home as well. Ayati. Ayati. Very nice. Jazakumullah, um, G781. That was really nicely recited. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. So I just wanted to remind everyone to um, click on the form, uh, the Google form on the chat, which is um, an attendance form and record your attendance before um, the class finishes. And if I can have one more student on the mic, please. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, I have an announcement as well. I yes. just want to remind the students that uh, when I call a, a student ID, kindly don't change your ID uh, to that ID. Um, I, because it causes me a lot of trouble. Um, I get confused. Uh, to, and um, uh, other students who uh, I have rightfully called are unable to um, answer. So please, students who are doing that, I would uh, like to request that please kindly do not change your um, ID. Um, and yeah, I'll call the student name now. So can I request? G seven nine six to unmute their mic. Jazakumullah, Jazakla for the, the announcement. So this it is very important that you don't um, change your ID because if you do, um, then they might um, you might have to be maybe put in the waiting room um, later on because um, the class it is recorded and um, the support teacher they can see who you are. Okay, um, can I? Can you unmute yourself, G seven nine six? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Are you G seven nine six? Uh yes. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. And Jazakumullah for asking. Um, let's start with thousand tasmiya. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Very nice. Can you read this word for me? You can split it up if you want to. Um, and take your time. Okay. Um... Okay. Well done. So which one do you have to uh, make long? So, I can't hear you. So which one of these three letters do you have to make long? The qaf, the ka, or the lamb? The qaf. Well done. 
So it's the qaf, which is the qaf is the only one you're making long, okay? Qatala. Qatala. Well done. Very nice. Now, can you read this word for me, please? Before reading, could you tell me which one you're making long and which one um, you're just reading normal? The alif would be long. The alif will be wrong, long, very nice. Okay, now try. Ra, a, ra, a, hu. Mm -hmm. Now, all together. Ra, a, hu. Well done. That was really nice timing. Well done, mashallah. Ra, a, hu. Ra, a, hu. Yes, and this word here. Um... Adamu, Adamu. Okay, so, so you're just making the alif long. Um, Adamu, Adamu. Adamu. Okay, repeat after me, please. Adamu, Adamu. Very nice. So it's just the alif which carries the vertical fata, the dal. Just stays the same and the memes um it's it's just one second okay well done now can you repeat after me because we're running out of time now um alimu alimu which one did i make long uh the uh, the ein. Ein. well done yeah well done i could hear that you may read the ein from your throat well done and now this letter is all well done. Very nice. Now I can hear again that you read the off from your back from the back of your throat. That was really yeah. nice. Very nice pronunciation, um, G796. Could you please stay on the mic and um read the end dua with me? Okay. Let me just quickly go through the homework. And the homework is um to practice vertical fatha, which is exercise 8.2 on page 54. Okay, make sure to practice it before tomorrow's class. And let's have the end dua. If you can read after me. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Allahumma. Allahumma. Hamni. Hamni Bil Qur'ani Bil Qur'ani Bil Qur'ani Bil Qur'ani Nil Well done Azim Azim Very nice. Could you read the translation for me please? Okay. Oh Allah, have mercy on me throughout the Qur'an the Great. Very nice. Jazakumullah. Very nicely recited G796, mashallah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. So this brings us to the end of our class today. Jazakumullah for joining in. Um, and we will see you tomorrow at tomorrow's class, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.